Okay. Okay. So basically all you're going to need to do this is a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Flathead does not need to be this big, this is just what I have. And a little mallet or something after. Right now I'm just using that for balance. Because you want to start with your shade completely down. All the string is down. And this will help balance it. So then the little tabs on the top of the clutch we're just going to pop up with a screwdriver. And all of them would be better. If you have fingernails you can also use that too. And that's just going to come off like that. On the inside here you'll see a screw. That screw we're going to take out. That's the one holding the clutch in. And this should just pull out very easily like that. Then that is your clutch. You're going to want to make sure you don't pull your V-rod all the way out of your rollers. And it's okay if it comes out of the brake because that's going to stay where it is. So on the clutch end, you'll see a little screw right here at the neck. That screw you're going to want to take out. Just be very careful of your fingers. <laughs> and it doesn't necessarily come all the way out, but just up enough so that you can slide the clutch right off the V-Rod. So now we're going to take a new clutch. And if you look inside, you can see a little V or triangle. That's where it's going to fit into the V-Rod. There's a V actually in this V-Rod. So it will only fit in that one way. And then you're just going to tighten this screw down. Once again, being careful because it can be a little tight. Just give it a yank and you'll know it's on there. Okay, now we're going to slide it back in. If it has come out of the brake, you're just going to slide it in and move this. Because it also has a, a matchup for the V-Rod. There's my V. What are you feeling for there? Just the little V. It's easier with the right-handed Oh, right okay. Hand. There's the same as on the clutch, there's that little V. Okay. So, and you can push this with your hand till it gets to the V, and then it'll just slide right through. Okay. It's usually a little easier than that. <laughs> I'm on camera. <laughs> so then, you're going to slide your clutch back in. If it going in a little tight, you just gently take a mallet and get it in there good. And the screw that we took out, we're just going to screw that back in to the same hole. You should be giving us jokes or something <laughs> for this part. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> like we always remember when we're putting these in. To do a double screw. <laughs> okay, so now that your clutch is in there, we're going to remove the pull cord from the old clutch. And all you do is just take and run it straight around like that. And it comes right up. And attach it the same way. Once you get it into one of the notches, we're recording. They sure do. Now you're on video for that. <laughs> if it doesn't go one way, that means it's locked. You just but go the other way. Now my outsourcing views are recorded for history. <laughs> yes, they are. Okay, and this is just going to slide right back on here. Just remember that underneath there are also a couple of tabs where your clutch is going to go, as well as on the top. So once you get them snapped in, you can pretty much feel when everything is snapped in. And that's it. Then you're ready to hang it again. And it's all good.
Awesome. Thank you very much, Julie. You're very welcome. <laughs>